Hello, I'm Kyle, and welcome to Bedtime Verses with Kyle. Just a little poetry to help you get ready for bed. So today, we have something by Sir Richard Fanshawe. His dates are 1608 to 1666. Did not... wasn't a young man when he went, but he wasn't old. So this is called Ode on His Majesty's Proclamation, Commanding the Gentry to Reside on Their Estates. So this sounds like 1630. 1630s. It sounds like wartime stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Revolution. Uh, no, not quite. Uh, I think War with the Dutch. Yes. There's a, there's a great uh, Protestant war across the, the uh, across Europe as well. Protestant versus Catholics. Very, uh, one of the first ones. And some say that if the Protestant forces hadn't won, then uh, the world would be very different. Okay. Here we go. Now war is all the world about, and everywhere erroneous reigns, or else the torch so late put out, the stench remains. Holland for many years hath been of Christian tragedies this stage, yet seldom hath she played a scene of bloodier rage. And France, that was not long composed, with civil drums again resounds, and ere the old are fully closed, receives new wounds. The great Gustavus, Gustavus, the great Gustavus. The great Gustavus in the west plucks the imperial eagle's wing, than whom the earth did ne'er invest a fiercer king, revenging lost Bohemia and the proud wrongs which Tilly did, and tempereth the German clay with Spanish blood. What should I tell of Polish bands and the bloods boiling in the north, against whom the fury Russians their troops bring forth, both confident, this in his purse and needy valor set on work, he and his axe, which oft did worse, the invading Turk, who now sustains a Persian storm, their hell that made it suffer schism, this war forsooth was to reform Mahometism. Only the island which we sow, a world without the world, so far from present wounds, it cannot show an ancient scar. White peace, the beautifulest of things, seems here her everlasting rest to fix, and spreads her downy wings over the nest, as one great Jove usurping rain, from the plagued world did her exile, and tied her with a golden chain to one blessed isle, which in a sea of plenty swam, and turtles sang on every bough, a safe retreat to all that came, as ours is now. Yet we, as if some foe were here, leave the despised fields to clowns, and come to save ourselves as twere in walled towns. Hither we bring wives, babes, rich clothes, and gems, till now my sovereign, the growing evil doth oppose, counting in vain. His care preserves us from annoy, of enemies his realms to invade, unless he force us to enjoy the peace he made. To roll themselves in envied leisure, he therefore sends the landed heirs, whilst he proclaims not his own pleasure, so much as theirs. The sap and blood of the land, which fled into the root and choked the heart, are bid their quickening power to spread through every part. So this goes on, but we'll do the rest tomorrow, because it's a long one. So he's describing this continental war. Gustavus Magnus, what was his name now? Uh, King of Sweden, <clears throat> was apparently quite a, a military... Uh, genius, actually, although he died in one um, in one of the final battles of that war. Gustavus Adolphus, that's what it is. Gustavus Adolphus. Uh, so yeah, all of Europe is embroiled in this sort of holy war. Um, oh, what is it called? It's not the Thirty Years' War, is it? No. Is it? Ah, this is what happens when you don't do any research beforehand. Anyway, it's one of those wars. Um, yeah, Catholic, Protestant, so it was a, a big schism. And uh, many of the European powers went to war about it. <clears throat> Protestantism came out legitimated, so some might be happy about that. I'm happy about that for various reasons. I'm not Protestant, but the, uh, the more individualistic stuff that came with it. So I leave that to the philosophers to debate on their channels. I'm just talking about history here. Um, so uh, what he's saying is like it's King uh, England was then suffused with peace, and everyone is collecting in the towns, and the king's like, why? Why, why, why? Just go, no, no, go to the countryside, spread out, why are we all bunched up like this? Although the king himself in 10 years would be deposed and uh, revolution would find England. So this was the calm before the storm, 1630. And with that, thanks again for joining me for Bedtime Verses with Kyle. Follow me here and please subscribe to my YouTube and my website. And there'll be new readings every weekday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.
Also, I am now the voice of Drago on Bakugan, which has dropped on Netflix, so go and watch me have a little bit of fun there. Good night. Sleep tight.